Hey y'all, this week's quick tip is gonna help you spice things up visually in Google Keep. So if you like these headers, let me show you how you can create your own and get even more creative than I did. Mine are nothing fancy, but you can get as fancy as you want in Canva. So the first thing everyone asks is, Casey, what are the dimensions? Forget dimensions. All you need is a good banner ratio. And you know what's perfect in Canva for that is the Google Classroom banner. So you're going to look for header or banner right here. And that's exactly what I used. So of course, there are tons of templates here that you can use, or you can just simply start from scratch if you want to keep them simple like I did on mine where I just really wanted to see the words. But you can add any kind of image, any kind of visual that helps you make that connection back to what that note is about is really going to help your, your brain <laughs> to remember some things. So let's hop on over to Google Classroom and let's select a template here. So I'm going to go simple here and select this one just because I like the word to take up most of the space. That's kind of my preference because if you choose one of these where you have more image than word, that word is going to show up very small when it's shrunk to fit inside Google Keep. That's why you don't have to worry about the size. It's really just the ratio because Google Keep is going to shrink it down and make it work for you. So here's one. And of course, if you're a secondary teacher, you may want to create a header for each of your class periods. So um, this might be first period, this might be English, this might be social studies, whatever you want it to be. So you can come in here and edit this. I am just going to change this to first period, make some adjustments so that it fits. Take my font size way down. And maybe stretch it just a little bit bigger, just to get it as big as I possibly can. On this, you're not going to lose really too much on the edges. So don't be afraid to go kind of into the edge of your, your banner if you want to. And now I can center that, get it just where I want it. I'm going to get rid of that right there. And I'm just going to leave it at first period just as an example. So here's how you get this into Google Keep. You're going to click on share and then you're going to go to download. You want to leave it at the PNG file and just click download. Now, when you go back into Google Keep and you create a new note, you're going to look for this image icon right here and click on that. And that is where you're going to navigate to the image that you just downloaded and open that up. Boom, there it is. Now, the other thing that I've done is I've added color that coordinates with the header image. So if you like that, go to the color options and select a color that works for you. Um, I'm also going to match my title to the title I have right there. And there are my notes. I'm going to get pin this so you can see it at the top. And there it is. So that is an easy way to create headers inside of Canva. Now, you want to keep going. You want to use this as a template. Just go to File, make a copy, and you can go back and change it for each class period, each subject, each title, to-do list notes, however you want to use this. Now, I have also shared in episode 171 and on the ShakeUp Learning blog, shakeuplearning.com forward slash 171, my templates. So if you like mine and you just want to go in and tweak it a little bit, I have given you access to use that template inside Canva as well, or just download the images if you just want to use the ones I created and you don't want to do any editing. I have that available for free on ShakeUp Learning for you. So go check it out. If you like this tip 
ring the bell and subscribe so that you get notified when new tips come out each week. And y'all, if you just found this YouTube channel, hop on over to shakeuplearning.com and check out all of the free resources that we have right there. Bye, y'all.